Hey, what's up guys? It's Bandit Plays here, back at again with another episode of NASCAR Heat 5 on our custom championship. Going to be uh, here at race 8 at Phoenix Raceway. I'm currently 15th in the standings, 160 points. Uh, here's the standings if you guys want to see that. Um, Joey Logano currently leading. He has two wins. So, then two stage points. Um, I don't know if stage points, or stage wins, sorry. I don't know if there's a way to see playoff points. I, I doubt that this number 13 and shit is playoff points. I don't think I have 37 because I've won zero stages. Uh, so I guess, you know, stage wins at the playoff points. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but yeah, we're currently 15th, so yeah. Now, before I do want to get into this video, I do want to talk about uh, a quick little channel update. I know this is all over the place. This video is uploading Friday, Bigfoot uploading Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. You know, what's happening? Um, basically, uh, some of you guys may have seen it. I've advertised it every once in a while. I've played on it few times but we have a 5m server um you know we're reopening it up so i'm pretty busy on trying to get the server back up back running and all that so as a result i don't have much time to do oh, i don't have much time to uh, record videos edit them so um basically the <laughs> schedule that we knew before completely get rid of it uh i will be uploading tuesdays and fridays as planned but there's nothing else planned about it. Um, so, I could upload, I'll, you know, currently got NASCAR Heat 5, GTA Vice City, Bigfoot, and Minecraft. Those four series will still be going out. It's just they'll be random. So, um, and just to give you guys an update, you'll probably see a little bit more Bigfoot and Minecraft because those are pre recorded videos. NASCAR Heat 5 and GTA Vice City, I have not recorded yet until now I'm recording a NASCAR Heat 5 video right now um, you guys might see a lot more NASCAR Heat 5 to diverse stuff up because it is one of the easiest videos to record so I will try to get back on the GTA Vice City grind um, as well but I also have school coming up and all that so uh, I might be slacking a little bit you guys may notice later uploads I've been trying to get stuff out last minute um, so just Bear with me, these next few weeks and so, probably not going to be the best weeks. Uh, I'll still try to upload videos, I still want to hit Tuesdays and Fridays, it's just not going to be uh, very scheduled. It might, you know, most likely it'll be late uploads, 5pm uh, central time. But, it's not going to be, you know, Bigfoot may come out today, it might come out 5 weeks from now, I don't know until I make the video. Um, same with NASCAR Heat 5 and all that. So, just bear with me. And, uh, yeah, just thought I'd give a quick little update. I did say I was going to make an update video, and I forgot to. So, also, sorry for the long intro. Um, if you guys stuck around, yeah. Alright, well, let's get on into the race, and I'll see you guys when we hit the track. Here we are at Phoenix Raceway. See the cars all pulling out. Um... Going to be skipping practice as usual. And we're going to tighten the setup, or loosen the setup, sorry. Um, go ahead and tick loose and see what happens. Pole time is currently at 25.7. So let's see if we can hit that. Right, see you guys on the other side. And there we are, 25th. It was alright, I gotta say, these corners, I don't, I'm just not ready for them. Um, hopefully we get to improve during the race itself. Oh, now we're starting 24th, so someone up front got penalized. And speaking of up front, I see Matt Kenseth. Alright, let's see, De Benedetto, not normal. Chris Buescher fills in inspection, and I'll expose to replace the transmission. So one of those two was in front of us, obviously. All right, see where we go. Also, new paint scheme. Got the Can Am Mustang out here. So let me know what you guys think. All right, green flag here in Phoenix. Gonna be started 24th. Let's see where we could go by the end of the stage. So sometimes I really like this track. Others I don't. 
So let's see where we are today. I'm gonna hit Chastain a few times. He laps to the end of the stage, so let's see if we can get up to the top ten before then. Hate being on this outside though. Ooh, got in the back of Reagan. Not how you want to make a position, but we did it. And let off way early, got under Elliot. So we'll go ahead and take that spot away. Got to the inside of Matt Benedetto. Trying to take the position away. I look to the inside of Neiman Check and Stenhouse Jr. Man, we had to check up a lot there. That's going to cost us. Since we're down here, I'm going to try to cut all the way through the bus stop. So we can get their positions. Not too much progress. Try to hold this white or yellow line. One thing you got to be coming or careful of. Because if you come down too low, you will hit that area, uh, pit lane, you'll go below the cone, and you'll pit. You don't want that. And back end is a little bit loose already. But pretty good. So it's a good thing it's only an 8 layup run. The bad thing about the 8 lap run is we're not making too many spots. And if we hit the brakes, the car goes to the right. Stay on the bottom here. You got room. You're clear. No points that stage, but plenty of racing left. And as you seen there, we were able to dive bomb down. I was racing with uh, Ryan Priest right there for a pretty good amount of time. I always want to say Chris Busher, man. Alright, appears everybody's pitting. So, let's see. Estimated fuel. Just gonna go enough to get to the end of the stage. Um, repair. And let's see, how are our tires? I'd say. Call that good. Probably lose a position or two. Yep. But. Car will be as good as new. Three flags back in the air. We're on our way to stage two. See if we can get some points this way this time uh, I should pay attention more because I actually don't know who we're racing in regards to points like I remember Logano not a problem because he has a win but I don't know anybody else like or who's around us because I don't know are we out of the top 16 now because we didn't get any points did the person that we're racing get points I don't know that so I might need to document that next time Oh, we're going to get into Logano pretty badly. Still there. Clear all around. Car, there on the Car is really good right now, so I need to get down. Thirteen laps. I don't know how the tires will be. Still there. I kind of want to save them, but I need position, so I'm going down here. Fuck, man. I don't know if that was a caution or what, but man, that was some good race and almost had that 15th spot, which would have been nice, man. We started on the inside, but. Oh, crap. Alright. And yeah, cars started to get really loose at the end, so it's kind of interesting. Um, got a little bit of damage. I don't know how much it's going to affect us. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to tighten up the car just a little bit. Probably go back a spot or two or seven. Alright. Well, let's see what happens. Final stage, baby. 
Green flag back in the air. Let's see if we can make up anything off the start. Can I get into Bell a little bit? Thought about trying to go under Lugano, apparently I will. And what the hell is Quinn Huff doing up here? Top 10, try to hold it. Alright, I need to calm down so we're not losing too much of our stuff. You know what? Scratch that. Careful, still there. Careful, That's where our car there. starts to get tight as hell. So, just need to hold it for these few laps. Careful, still there. And the caution's out. Alright. Just trying to figure out how many views. It's not telling me too much of which. If we t pit, we get four fresh tires. We might be able to make something happen here. So I think let's pit. Let's free the car up just a tad bit. Don't need any fuel at all. Four tires. Don't repair it. We're going to drop all the way back. 39th. Looks like Reagan's out of the race. Or three laps down at all least. Alright, let's try this. See how this chat works. If it does or it doesn't. Two more to go. I want to try to at least get a top 10. We're almost there. And I went to dive down under him and kind of failed at diving down. White flag. Looks like top 10 is going to be Matt DiBenedetto. Or Cole Custer looks like actually. So if we can get by Cole Custer. Should be able to do. Looks like Matt Kenseth is actually going to win the race. Come on, can we get to Benedetto too? Gonna give him a little tap. Nothing there. Top 10 here, Phoenix. That's one fast Can-Am Mustang. As I did worry though, we did lose a lot of points by not winning any stages. We're down into the 16th spot so as for the people we are racing because um, I had like I said I wanted to figure that out uh, it is Chase Elliott, Clint Boyer, William Byron, Jimmy Johnson and Matt Benedetto so those are the people we need to watch out for um, currently no one under us has a win so nothing to worry about there so Matt Kenseth the fastest lap and the winner uh, so that's pretty good on him so next our go do is Texas. So it should be pretty good at these one and a half odd trucks. Hopefully we can win at Texas and be locked into the playoffs. Because currently we are flirting with that 16th place spot. So I'll see you guys in Texas and let's see how this goes. Here we are in the Lone Star State. We're here at Texas Motor Speedway for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500. So let's get on to qualifying. I have some high hopes that I could get pretty good, get up there, maybe a win. Um, but you never know. Let's go now. So let's start off by qualifying. Where do we go? All right, that's our run. Back it out. Twenty seconds. So it seems to be about where we've been qualifying consistently. So can't do anything about that. 
Just gonna have to start 22nd. Car handled pretty good. I'm gonna tighten it up just once though. Um, so we don't loosen up so much. So, start in the 22nd position, see what happened. Looks like Kayla Van Harvick's failed technical inspection. Joe Logano's gonna win the pole, so he seems like the favorite for the championship in this series. Uh, Matt Bendetto also failed uh, the optical scanning. So, multiple times. <laughs> so that's not very good. Gonna be starting on the outside lane with right, Michael, McDowell, Michael McDowell, Michael McDowell to our inside. So here we go. Green flags in the air in Texas. See where he'd finish here. We're gonna start off with an alright start, actually. Gonna be able to slide in maybe in front of Elliot. We will. Whoa, it was like McDowell got loose or something. I went to go inside of him and that didn't work. Elliot trying to look to the inside. McDowell checked up because of Stenhouse Jr. Careful. Still there. All clear. Hold your line, got one inside. Clear and that was already a crazy beginning lap. So. Don't want to run into too many problems. Got to be on our toes if it's going to be like that, though. Let's see if we get in the top ten. ten laps to go. Got ten laps to do it. Just hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Okay. Well, here we are, top ten, and man, oh man, this is some crazy racing. Car is tight and loose at the same time. Turn one and two is inside, inside. not my favorite. Ooh, we're starting to loose up though. Hold your line, stay high. I'm typically tight in one and two, and perfect here in three Careful, and four. Well, that's usually line, on the inside, so we got stuck on the outside. Jones looked under us, and the car which just slid around. Good thing Blaney was there to save us. Ooh, that's not good. We're gonna slide out to like the third or fourth groove. Got one down low now. You got room, you're clear there. Alright. Let's try to get back on the attack. Alright, let's go. White flag. Chase Elliott, Kyle Bush battling ahead of us. Trying to see if I can keep the car on the bottom enough to get a run at them. Looks like Ellie will take that 12th spot away. Now we're going to get on the apron. Yeah, tire warning. 19% of the tires, so. Ooh, 14 that stage. No points, of course. Um, some of the guys up there, Eric Jones. And, yeah, not very good for us in points wise. And uh, as you just seen, car is very bad through one and two. As you've seen now, it was very good through three and four. So, um, yeah, I guess that's the thing that sucks about your Dexmar Spui. The damn different, Careful, still there. two different corners. So currently, the car is not really good to this. Stay low, stay low. Fell back a lot, so let's see if we can make it back up. Nice driving that stage, driver. And it appears the caution may have came out. Um, stage two is over. Um, a little bit sooner than I wanted. So that sucks. Uh, yeah, as you guys may have seen, I kind of fixed a little bit, but on exit, um, the car was just consistently um, trying to spin itself off a of turn four so it's not a very ideal situation there um, so yeah we're just gonna go with that looks like we'll lose one spot to Christopher Bell which whatever uh, loosened up the car a little bit car was very consistent it didn't loosen it didn't tighten just trying to do loosen up a little bit though 
try to see if we get some more speed in the car. Because uh, currently we're a 15th place car. So I want to consistently get in that top 10. We're trying to race people like Chase Elliott, Eric Jones, and look where they are. Side draft the heck out of Christopher Bell. Looks like two people were involved with the wreck. Or something, because they're on bit road currently. Can't tell who it is. Looks like it might be the 66. Whoa, that's not a deal. Little Chase Elliott. Probably going to get a caution. There it is. Whoopsies. Yeah, I tried to... Oh, and everybody's going to be pitting. Yeah, I tried to make a move under him and... Uh, yeah, that didn't really go well. Looks like everybody's probably going to get a splash of fuel. I'm going to stay out. I think we got this. Um, yeah, I, I think let's, let's stay out. Let's see what happens. We're going to get a lead, so... Yeah, actually, took Chase Elliott out. He's also gonna. Ooh, that's not good. But yeah, he'll stay out as well. Here we go. Green flag. Can we win in Texas? And Elliott just dropped. Hamlin is fast as hell right now. We've thrown a win away before. Let's try to hold this one. 12 laps to go. Me and uh, Eric on roller right there were fighting side by side for about three, four laps. And Trix came up, just freaking pushed me and uh, passed us. So, car is tight loose, tight loose, tight loose. Yeah, I can't do anything. Try to hold on to this A spot if I could side draft on roller a little bit. Trying to stay down here on the bottom. Wants to go everywhere else. and yeah, Actually, I'm sliding too much now. You see Almirola was able to drive by on the outside lane, so... I'm gonna get moved by Jones. Gonna go outside of the top 10. Weird, just can't do anything. Come on, hold up just a little bit longer. 
There we go, sliding it through the finish line. Finished 12th, so that's alright. Top 15. 101 speed rating though. Yeah, we were kind of just stuck there. 15th place car, for sure. Uh, towards the end, did speed up pretty good. <laughs> Almost caught up to Kurt Busch. And, or not Kurt. Who was it racing again? <laughs> yeah, it was Kurt Busch. But, uh... Yeah, I almost caught up to him again. Almost. I felt like it could have passed him on the exit of uh, turn two. I wasn't able to get there, obviously. Yeah. Well, the car was just not holding the bottom like it, like I would have liked it to. So, 12th place, though. Still pretty good. Uh, puts us 15th. So, you can see we're kind of going back and forth with uh, Clint Boy right now. So, yeah. Next person to worry about is Eric Homerola. Let's see, well, and Byron's up there. Good. Top 12, technically 13th, because Bell has two wins. So he's locked in. So, looks like Truex Jr. the fastest lap. Um, didn't pay attention to who won that race, actually. Uh, yeah, I thought Hamlin was going to, then I seen he got passed. And, yeah, that was interesting. So. Well, 15th in standing, so back to where we were. Really didn't make too much progress, just kind of holding our ground. Um, I think, what, now we're like 30% through the season? Probably 28? It tells you what percentage. Um, next, we got Martinsville, Talladega. Uh, that's in the next video, whenever that comes out. Like I said, random schedule. Um... So, Martinsville, that could go either way. If, I mean, if the car is tight and screwed, loose screwed, you know, if I could hold it, you could get a top 10. Talladega, I mean, if we look at Daytona, uh, finished uh, 36. I mean, that's not very good, so, just hope I could, uh, hope I could get a good finish to Talladega. 25 laps, so. Yeah, that puts us at race 11. Playoffs start at 24, which is um, Martinsville again. But, I mean, you look. 23, we're at 11, and we're about to start 10, I mean. So, good ways there, almost. Uh, after Talladega, we got Watkins Glen, Homestead, Miami. I think that'll be an interesting group. Um, then you got Pocono, Bristol. Bristol's track guy. I'm really excited for. See if I can get this set up just right. Should be able to win. But we'll see about that. So 27% through. Um, yeah, hopefully we could even make the playoffs. We're consistently there, but you never know what could happen. Um, so see what happens. Almost there, or almost at halfway mark. So yeah. Well, that's going to have to do it for this video. Um, leave a like or dislike. Let me know how, how this video was. Uh, if you have any suggestions, maybe a game I should play or something. I don't know. Um, let me know down in the comment section. I always read the comments. So, yeah. Let me know if you guys... I don't know. <laughs> let me know something. Um, but, yeah. So, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.